So we all know the problem. We're researchers. We try to keep up with what's going on in the field, but I just pulled this from last night. There's 136 posts on AstroPH just yesterday. You can't possibly read all of those and keep track of what's going on, not only in your own field, but in the other fields of astronomy. So what we've come up with here is AAS Nova, which is a website that we just launched. And the goal of the website is to basically summarize recent research that's been published in the AAS journals for different audiences. So a year ago, the AAS hired me. My background is I'm a PhD astrophysicist with a background in science communication. And in August, we launched this website. And our goals with this were basically to provide a service to our members. We want to give our members a curated list of summaries of recent research that's happening in AAS journals across a broad range of fields. And then we also want to provide a service to our authors. We want to give our authors additional exposure for their work, get the media access to their work, get the general public access. So what is AAS Nova? We've got two primary components of this website right now. It's still in progress, it's being built. We're adding new things, so this might grow in the future. But right now, the main two parts are Highlights and Journals Digest, which are circled here. So the papers that are selected for both of these categories are selected in collaboration with the editors of the journals and myself. And we choose papers that are important results or of interest to a broad uh, community, broad range of researchers, that sort of thing. So the highlights are kind of the main feature of AAS Nova. And these are 350 to 500 word summaries of the research paper. And these are being posted three times a week right now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And the, the targeted level varies, but it's somewhere between the general public and an astronomy researcher uh, who doesn't necessarily have a background in that very particular subfield, but does have a general astronomy background. And then the other component are the journal's digest posts. And these are just like single sentence summaries of papers. And that goes up, we've got one of those going up every day, weekday. And uh, the level for those, by necessity, because it's a single sentence, you can't provide background and context and all of that. So the level for that is a little higher. It's at the level of an astronomy researcher. But it's still a way of taking in you know, the general idea of a paper in a single sentence without having to sit down and read the whole paper. Obviously, you're not going to get as much information, but it's a way of kind of keeping a hand in what's going on. And so we promote the highlights that are being written. Uh, through a variety of channels. First off, we've got social media, so that's our way of reaching out to the general public and sharing the work that's being done by our authors. So we have a Twitter account, we've got a Facebook account for AAS Nova, and then in addition to posting the highlights there, we cross-post them to the Facebook page for the American Astronomical Society, which has over 84,000 Facebook followers. So that's a great way of reaching a huge community. Uh, to reach the AAS membership, We've been advertising AAS Nova pretty hard. You guys might have seen emails about it. For people who didn't see that, uh, we also, every two weeks in the AAS News Digest, include a summarized version of the most recent highlights in order to get a few more notifications out to people about it. And then we also advertise to the press. We would like the media to pick up the things that have been highlighted on AAS Nova. So we send out tip sheets to the press with the most recent highlights and contact information for the authors so that they can easily go and contact the authors and get quotes from them, that sort of thing. So, as I said, we launched this website just in August, so we've only had it up for four months. But I've got statistics from the last four months to sort of give you an idea of what's going on. Unfortunately, everybody's sitting pretty far from the screen, screen so I don't know how well you can see this, but I'll walk you through it. Uh, so this is a series of graphs describing what kind of research we're highlighting in AAS Nova. So the first one is, is it observation or theory? So far, it's been about two-thirds observation, one-third theory. On the right, I've got which topics are being highlighted. And basically, it's all of them. From the solar system through extragalactic and black holes and exoplanets and everything, we're covering the whole range of fields. In terms of where the highlighted articles come from, which journal, it's all four of them been covering, covering articles that are published in all four of these. 
And so far, I've been focusing more on the articles that have not received prior press attention, might not have had a press release or something like that associated with it, just because there are a lot of really interesting and important results that aren't necessarily advertised very well, and I want to make sure those aren't falling through the cracks. People are still seeing those. In terms of our readership so far, we've been averaging about 4,000 visitors to the site per week. And these come from 169 different countries, so pretty much everywhere, which is great. Most of our traffic to the website is coming from social media, uh, with most of, most of that being from Facebook. That's largely because of the AAS's huge reach on Facebook, the fact that that gets shared around a lot and reposted. It, several of the highlights have been picked up by Physics Today, which has over two and a half million followers. So that's a really great way of bringing in a lot of people to look at this research. And you can see here our weekly reach on Facebook is somewhere around 20,000 people. So possibly one of the most interesting things to come of this is looking at what impact AAS Nova might be having on the original <laughs> papers that the researchers have written. Uh, and we found that in these last four months, a, a typical article, compared to a typical article, a highlighted article ends up getting four times the number of downloads. The original paper that was written by the researchers downloaded four times as much. So obviously we can't claim causation there, only correlation, but we consider that to be a pretty good sign. And another way of looking at that is this plot down here, which shows the percent of the highlighted articles that fall within the top X percent of most downloaded articles. So about 75% of highlighted articles fall within the top 10% of most downloaded, and um, around 90% of highlighted articles fall within the top 20%. So there's definitely a relation there. This is great. I think it means that we're really helping you get the word out about papers, and I'm looking forward to expanding this in the future. So as I said, this is new. We're still developing it, and we would love to get any questions or comments that you have about it. So this is how you can contact me. And I'm happy to take any questions now. Do we have a minute? Okay. Yes, OK. Happy to take any questions now, if you have any. This is the first opportunity you guys have to speak up. <laughs> uh, so I'm doing the summaries. Yeah, I go through and I read the papers and then I summarize them. And time permitting, I have a back and forth with the original author of the paper saying, here is what I've written up about your paper. Do you see any inaccuracies? Is there anything you'd like to change? I certainly look through the titles and abstracts of every paper published, yes. I'm not reading every single one because it's just me. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Are you open to authors contacting you and saying, look, we have an exciting result, can you feature it? I was supposed to repeat the questions, by the way. So the question was, are you open to co authors contacting you and saying, hey, will you highlight my result? I'm open to it, yes. Um, at the moment, because it's a new process, I can still field emails like that. I won't necessarily highlight something if an author contacts me, but I won't reject it either. <laughs> and it's certainly, you know, it's just me keeping on top of this right now, so I do appreciate tips. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs>